Keel, congratulations on your A level results. I'm Emily, I'm an elected officer at your student union. Hello, I'm Jeff, I'm your education officer at Keel SU. Hi, I'm Ella, I'm one of your elected officers at Keel Students Union as well. If you get your results today, congratulations, and we're even more excited if you come into Keel. Today we're riding around on a golf buggy, so if there's anyone on campus you'd like to see, come and snap us and then we'll show you around campus. Guys, let's go! <laughs> So we're on our way to Hornbeam Pharmacy building, so watch out for that if anyone's coming to the pharmacy here. This is Hornbeam building where our pharmacy school is based. Our pharmacy course has 99% student satisfaction, doesn't it Jeff? Woo! If there's anywhere else on campus that you want to visit, uh, just Snapchat us at Keele University and we'll drive there. Oh. Where are we going now? Where are we going now, Jeff? We're going to Kill Hall. What's Kill Hall? It is the most beautiful place on campus with wonderful views. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Kill Hall. It's one of the most historic and beautiful buildings at Kill. As well as housing the Liberal Arts School, plenty of societies and sports clubs have their balls here. We're here at the Clock House. Uh, this is where music is taught on this side, and the Vice Chancellor lives on this side. Societies like drama perform here as well. Keele is set in 600 acres, making it the largest campus in the UK and one of the most beautiful. Hello and welcome to Lindsay Court. This is part of our Lindsay Halls on campus. And in here there are premier on suites with shared kitchens. Don't worry, not everyone lives on campus. Uh, there's loads of students that are local and commute and there's loads of stuff to do uh, around the local area too. So we're now in Chancellor's building. I'm at the refectory where you can get plenty of food after long day of lecturing. We're in Hallwood Hall and most halls have a bar and a social space that is non-drinking as well as a laundrette. Kill because... Squirrels! <laughs> I work with SSDS, which is student support and disability and all that kind of stuff, and, and all that kind of stuff. And basically, um, I do social media for them, so I'm going to be in your lives and on your Twitter a lot. Oh. <laughs> Go on, what were you going to say? We can just mute um, it. Do you know who submitted the question we wanted to see it? Because in the caption you can... Hmm. Hi guys, I hope you've all got the results you wanted today. My name's Ian, I'm a student recruitment officer and also an ex-student of Keele. We've had a few requests to see the Lindsay Hall's accommodation, so I'm going to get in the golf buggy now and we're going to take you there. So, uh, on campus accommodation for over 3,000 rooms, um, and that's actually over a third of the population of Keele. We have a variety of different room types, from premier en suites to four person flats, so there's definitely something for everyone. So, we're just arriving at Lindsay now, so uh, we'll show you a couple of the blocks. So here we have some of the Lindsay blocks, um, the accommodation. Again, a variety of different room types, and the one we're looking at today is one of our standard rooms without a wash base. 
We're just going to check out one of the rooms now. And there we have it. We have all facilities provided, so you've got your own desk pads, got your own little notice board. You will have to bring your own bed in, but here's one we made earlier, complete with bear. So now we'll have a look at the kitchen. Again, you've got all your ovens, your sinks, your drawers, your cupboards, and your microwaves. So that was a quick snapshot of a Lindsay room. If there's anything else you'd like to see, just like this beautiful countryside, then please do let us know. So now we're going to take a look at the area around forward halls. So here we are at the beautiful hallward on this lovely day. As you can see, we've got some of the blocks around me now. Hallward's also home to the health centre, which is open to all students of the university. It's got some great communal spaces outside the blocks for people to get to know each other and to have a chill on a day like this. Unfortunately, you may still have to do washing here at university, but the good thing is that it's a 24 hour laundry. And it does also have a really good social space, as well as the local Horwood bar. So I'm having a great time going around in the golf buggy, so if there is anywhere else you'd like us to go, then please do let us know. So as we leave Horwood, we go past the infamous KPA, the Keel Postgraduate Association. And here as we go past, you can see the back of the Students' Union. And here you can see the beautiful sports fields of Peel. We have recently opened our Keith Harrison Sports Park, which comes complete with a 3G pitch. And also consists of tennis courts and a fully functioning beach volleyball court. So this is the sports centre, home to over 35 different clubs where you can either play competitively or play for fun, there's something for everyone. But if you ever do have a question about anything, feel free to come to one of our friendly reception staff at the sports centre. Hi Elliot. Hi, I'm Elliot, come and see us. So that's it from me guys, thank you for coming along with us on this little journey. If you are coming to the Open Day on Sunday, make sure to say hi.